In this video segment, we will discuss the benefits of using divisions and categories to segment your production database. Does your organization have multiple departments using SQCPAC, but still wish to keep all of your data stored in a single database? If so, divisions are for you. When a chart is assigned to a division, only users who have been granted permissions to that division will have access to see that chart. The same is true with data groups and divisions. You'll begin by configuring your list of divisions. From the application menu, choose Divisions, click New to create a list of all of the divisions you plan to use. I will add Operations to my list of divisions. Then display a chart you wish to assign that division to. Click Classify and choose the desired division from the drop-down list. Save and exit. And now this chart has been assigned to the operations divisions. Now only users who have been assigned to this division can view this chart. For more information on how to assign these users to a division, reference our User Roles and Rights video segment. While divisions allow you to segregate data into different groups, categories provide a means of grouping related data together. The primary use of categories is to filter these finder lists so they show items that are related to each other. The categories are configured and assigned much like the divisions. From the application menu we choose categories. We add a new category such as inspection. We display a chart or data group that we wish to assign this category to. We hit classify, select inspection, and save and exit. Now, once the chart or data group has been categorized, we can quickly sort by category, or we can apply a filter to search for a certain category. This will allow us to quickly find the chart or data groups we're most interested in seeing. And that's all it takes to assign categories and divisions to SQCPAC charts and data groups.